guys, I'm Lucy and I'm back with a review of Serafina by Rachel Hartman. And I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars because it was amazing. And anyone who loves fantasy or is new to the fantasy genre should definitely pick this up. Okay, so the main things I loved about this book were the plot, the characterization, and the amazing world building. Immediately when you pick up this book, I was kind of like overwhelmed with the amount of richness of the plot and the world building. Like Hartman includes all these references of the dragon law and the culture and yeah, it's amazing. So if you don't know about the plot, it's basically a world where in which humans and dragons are coexisting. And it's based upon the main character who is called Serafina, hence the name, and um, she is an amazing main character. Um, she's not very headstrong, she's very intuitive and she's clever and she just doesn't do that stupid, you know, stupid stunts that most young adult heroines do. Um, there is a bit of a love, like a romance plot inside this, but it's not the main focus. So if you are looking for a romance novel, a young adult fantasy romance novel, this is not it. Um, like I said, all the rest of the characters are pretty brilliant. Um, there's not a character who I felt was underdeveloped. All the characters had amazing background and like I said, there were, everything in this book is very rich, very dense. And yeah, it took me um, quite a while to get through, mainly because even though I said it didn't drag, it was quite slow to kind of get used to the world and yeah, it took me a while to kind of get my head around all the different cultures and yeah, the world itself is very rich and it's just very vast. You can tell Hartman has done a lot of research into this. Um, it reminds me of Lord of the Rings in that sense, that you can truly feel the world around you. And that's the one thing I love about fantasy novels. This novel does have a kind of detective and, yeah, kind of mystery element to it. The main focus of the plot is to try and Serafina's attempt to try and discover who killed the Prince of Gored, which is the world that Serafina um, is based in. And I found that part of the plot very interesting. It's kind of like the murder of the prince was very close to the signing of the peace treaty between the dragons and the humans. And the premise of this was very unique, I thought. And yeah, I like the whole detective element to it. Um, there was the pace... The pacing in this was very good as well. I never felt that I was like it was going too slow. I never felt that we were rushing through anything. It was very, very good. And the twist at the end was pretty astounding. I never thought that that would happen. Um, there is a sequel to this called Dracomachia or something like that. I could be pronouncing that completely wrong. I believe that comes out this year. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you pick this up because if you want a fantasy read and you just want to get into a book, this is it. Honestly, guys, pick this up. Thank um, thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video for you. Bye.